This is Heart Rhythm TV. I'm Roderick Tung. With me, I have the Atul Verma, and thank you for being with us. We're expecting a big late breaker from you about pulse field ablation, electroporation. The world is buzzing about it. Atul, what are the potential benefits for electroporation? Well, uh, thanks very much, Rod. I'm really excited about uh, presenting this trial at uh, HRS 2020 Science. Um, on behalf of all of the investigators who made this possible. Um, it's really exciting technology, you know, uh, in contrast to what we've always done before, where we've ablated either with heat or freezing, we've always used a thermal energy source. Uh, but pulse field ablation is non-thermal. It applies electrical fields to the tissue and I think it's going to offer several advantages. First, it's, it's fast, it's quick. Second, it's effective. And third, uh, I think we'll see that the safety profile of the technology is better than the thermal sources because it's more selective for cardiac tissue. Atul, tell us a little bit about the study design that you'll be presenting. Yeah, thanks. So uh, this is the Pulse AF trial. This is a uh, first in human uh, single arm, uh, multi-center prospective study uh, to evaluate uh, the pulse field ablation system. And uh, essentially we're, we've evaluated uh, 20 patients in this first part of the study, looking at safety and acute efficacy outcomes. And then we hope to follow this up with a much larger study down the road. Well, congratulations ahead of time and best of luck. The world awaits your virtual presentation in HRS 2020 Science and electroporation is faster, it is potentially safer and then more effective. It almost seems too good to be true and we can't wait to see what you tell us. So congratulations and we'll see you very soon. Thank you very much, Rod. Uh, I can't wait. Thank you.